Hey all, no null here. So it appears the continuation of the It's Gotta Be Perfect plot has now properly begun with the release of the latest SMG4 episode. The most important thing from this episode is that it seems the TV it were has decided to begin influencing Maggie and Tari, as it is a very ominous TV which mysteriously points Maggie and Tari towards heading to the Wild West, and Tari even points out the strange nature of the TV. Furthermore, the video's description specifically only contains a TV emoji, which definitely suggests this was an important part of the episode. This is the most explicit reference to the TV it were that we've seen since the Our New Home video. I've also almost forgot to mention a really interesting piece of dialogue said by the inkling boy who stole Maggie's beanie. He says he was told to steal the beanie, which if true, means the culprit is probably our favorite TV, and that he had planned from the beginning to get her to want to find one shot Ren. It is also weird for this kid to have stole the beanie in the first place. Furthermore, we see Marty again, who clearly still has something ominous about him going on, and the fact that he was brought up in two separate scenes in this video suggests that Marty will become important and isn't just a background prop. As I talked about in a previous video, I believe Marty and Louis will somehow be linked to the TV it were, largely due to their presence in the showgrounds, which we know is definitely linked to the TV it were. And Marty being left alone in the showgrounds probably is not a good sign. Interestingly we did not see Louis, though I imagine he is also at the showgrounds. One thing I wonder is if the reason Marty is such a success for the store is because of the TV it were or something, though I don't have any evidence for this really, as a cardboard cutout being a successful store manager is not out of the question in the SMG4 universe, so it appears that starting with this episode we will probably be getting some form of continuous story arc on the channel, as the entire extended SMG4 gang travel to the Wild West so that they can find one shot run at the end of the episode, which is an obvious cliffhanger. The fact that the entire extended gang has gone on this trip, including the rarely seen characters like Shroomy, Keizo and SMG1 and 2, to me suggests something big may go down on this trip. More evidence to these points is that Ari is suddenly getting voice lines, something we've only seen months before and we saw Melanie being voiced more during the cosmology arcs. However, I'm unsure about if this will be a proper arc or not, which will get its own playlist. After all, it is around the time of the year now where I think Meme Games 2023 may be close, although we have no confirmation of it coming soon yet as there has not been a post requesting many game suggestions. I personally think this will be a mini arc like the Seiko mini arc from last year, and I honestly believe the whole plot with the TV it were may very likely end in WAPV 2023 as that has been the trend the past couple of years. However I could be wrong, as unlike the Seiko mini arc, this possible arc is linked with earlier episodes, so we could possibly see the entire TV it were thing conclude with meme games, and possibly this could even be a proper arc that for a change concludes with meme games rather than WAPV. Perhaps the backlash from what V2022, which was a rather unoriginal arc ender, has properly reached the SMG4 writers, as they clearly knew about the criticisms of most of the lawsuit arc redesigns. I'll also add that I think the large cast that are going on this trip could also point to meme games being what concludes this plot. I think we'll probably know by the next episode if this truly is a traditional arc or not. I also want to point out that people who have been saying that Luke said at the end of the It's Got To Be Perfect movie that this whole storyline is not an arc are not exactly accurate, as he specifically said this was more than an arc and something much bigger, not that this is not an arc. I wanna say that I really appreciate them going into great detail about the one-shot Ren Law recently which most people thought would just never be brought up again after the 2021 video where we first saw him. We're really shown just how important he is to Maggie as an inspiration, rather than this fact coming across and unimportant to her character. It seems that we may finally see what his current status is, and it seems that something has happened to his reputation, though it is not clear what that is. It's entirely possible that the TV entity may have something to do with it for all we know as we note wants Maggie to go find Ren for whatever reason. However, if he really is in the Wild West is a huge uncertainty considering the Edware is not the most reliable source. 
The last thing I'll mention is that progress on the Newcastle is finally resuming, and it seems like it could be done sooner than we expected. I'm almost certain it will be at the end of this ongoing story thread, since this entire episode feels like set up for something, especially with how it has linked to different loose plot threads.